Leanna Miser for Posted Outdoors with the number one compound shooter in the world, Rio Wild. Rio, 10th annual Lancaster Archery Classic. You've been here every single year. How did it go for you today? Uh, good for the most part. I let a little bit slip at the end and Jesse got me by one point. And so a little disappointment there, but I mean, I can't be disappointed coming out second. I mean, it's it's a tough tournament. There's a good field of great archers here. That was an entertaining round. You were trading 11s for 11s every yeah. single time. Did you hear the crowd? Can you sense that? Or are you just in the zone when you're shooting? Oh, you can hear it. It's really, I mean, especially when you miss and you hear the, uh, you know, so you know what they do and what you do probably before they even call the arrow. So it's, it's, it's an interesting feeling and it's just different. Uh, such a great place for families to come mm -hmm. out too. What a great weekend full of archery. What's your best advice? Because you got into it when you were 12 and your dad got you inspired. What's your best advice for families looking to get everyone involved in archery? Uh, it's fun. Uh, actually, in fact, my little four-year-old got her a new bow for Christmas. Uh, my wife just started shooting a couple of months ago. It's, it's, it's fun for us all. And we just build a new house that has an indoor range in the basement. So it's just, it's something that we can all do together. You know, we can enjoy it. My little girl has a good time. She's already at four trying to be competitive. She's mad when they don't hit the X. So it's fun. It's a good time. You have your own sharing section. Yeah, That's I do. wonderful. Uh, well, speaking of kids and archery, uh, when is a good time to talk about turning pro? I know that you've been pro for about 20 years now. What made the switch for you? Uh, it's kind of funny, actually. Uh, the first tournament I ever shot as a professional my dad kind of said, hey, I'll pay the dues if you want to shoot it, you know, and I was like, eh, I, I don't know. And he's like, I'll tell you what, I'll make the I'll make you the deal. I'll pay the dues. You give me the winnings. And I said, well, it's fine. And, and in archery, there's, there's a goal or a bowl that they give. that's kind of a status symbol that everybody, you know, kind of gets maybe like Super Bowl rings and everything else. And they gave out a gold bowl at the end. I said, well, that's fine. You can have the money, but I want the bowl if I win. Well, I went on to win that tournament. And so he kept them. I gave him the money and. I got the bowl, and it's just kind of that's how it's been from there. Oh, that is fantastic. Gold in your sights. So what's next for you? Are you headed to Vegas? I am headed to Vegas. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. I'd like to do well there. I've won it two out of the last three years, so I'd really like to give it another run and get another title there So, because there's not many guys that have three Vegas titles. So, well, we are, Where can all of our viewers follow you while you're at Vegas? Are you on Facebook, Twitter, uh, I'm, website? I have a Facebook account. I have a website, realwild.com. Uh, just a bunch of stuff like that. So you're shooting a Hoyt with Easton Arrows. Any recommendations on tuning to get ready for this? Uh, no, make sure your equipment's set up. I mean, that you test it and get it ready. I mean, it's it's all the time you put behind the bow. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Rio, thank you so much. I know that everyone's going to watch Rio, see how he does in Vegas, and you'll be back here for the 11th annual, I'm sure, correct? Oh, yeah. I won't miss it. This is a great time. Wonderful. Follow Rio Wild here at Posted Outdoors and on his Facebook and Twitter.